This is practice problem two. We're going to look at another uh, account which needs to be prepared from the following transactions. We have to prepare Raman's account for the months of September and October. So now we have some dates which have been given to us and uh, you have transactions uh, being done uh, with a customer which is Raman because we see that you are selling goods to uh, Raman. So on the next page, I have the format for preparing Raman's account. And I know I have to prepare this for September and October 2015. So I'm going to write 2015 at the top to begin with. All right. Let me look at the first transaction, which is uh, uh, on September 1st, sold goods to uh, Raman. Now, uh, when you sell the goods to Raman, the general entry is Raman account uh, debit to sales to sales account. It doesn't say uh, cash and since we have to prepare Raman's account which means you know credit transactions are going to be recorded. So uh, I'm writing this as a credit transaction. So Raman's account is being debited. I'm going to go to debit side of Raman's account and I'll write to sales account and the amount is 5420. This is on September 1. So the first transaction has been uh, posted. Let's go to the next transaction on September 4. You receive cash from Raman 5150 and you allow a discount to him for 270. So when you do this, the general entry would be cash account debit from Raman. So to Raman's account and the cash that has been received is 5150. Uh, and you have allowed a discount to him. So discount account is also going to be debit. So discount allowed account debit. This is 2, 7 and 0. And uh, when you sum this up, uh, up, this comes out to be 5, 4, 2, 0. This means that it has been a full settlement transaction and you have allowed a discount to your customer. So we are going to go to credit side of Raman's account and we are going to write buy cash account and buy discount allowed account discount allowed account the amounts are 5150 and 270 the transaction is is being done on September 3rd there you go so we have entered this transaction into Raman's account Next transaction is on September 15th. Raman again bought goods from you. Same transactions. Now I'm not writing the journal entry, but I'm just, you know, uh, writing a mental journal entry. So the entry would be same as Raman uh, account debit to sale. Same transaction. The amount is going to, do, going to be different. So I'll go to debit side of Raman's account and write to sales 6000. So September uh, I'll check what date that was to sales account 6000 and the date was 15th so I'll write 15 here okay this is done let's move on to the next transaction on September 28th you receive cash from Raman 2000 again I'm not writing the general entry now when I receive the cash the general entry is cash account debit to Raman's uh, account. So similar to this one, except that there is no discount here. So cash account debit to Raman means I have to go to credit side of Raman's account and I'm going to write cash account there. So it will be buy cash account 2000, September 28th. September 28th, buy cash account, only 2000 has been received. The next transaction is in October and we have to prepare this ledger for both the months. So I'm going to show you something new here. We are going to close this account at the end of this month uh, so that we know at the end of this month, if we want to figure out what is the total amount that has to be recovered from the customers, then we can, you know, by closing the account, we can figure that out. So that's exactly what we are going to do. 
Now this is Raman. Raman is our customer. Customer is a debtor. Debtor is the asset. All assets will always have a debit balance. So I'm and you could do visual inspection as well. I'm going to total the debit uh, side first and I have 11420. This is the total of the debit side. Again, the conventional two lines, uh, you know, below this total to indicate that we are closing this account at this point in time. Now 11420 on the other side and there is going to be a balance by balance carried down and the balance is going to be 4000. So if you sum uh, these up, you will see that there is a 4000 rupees difference. You could also just visually, you know that this is equal to 4, 5420 and 5420 is already here. Out of 6000, 2000 has been received. So remaining 4000, it's a simple transaction. But if there were daily purchases, you know, some amount has been received, some is to be received, there were some discounts, then you would, you know, need to go step by step like this and prepare uh, uh, the ledger account. Now this balance is as on 30th September. Now this account tells us that we at the end of the uh, September, month of September, there is 4000 rupees which is to be recovered from the customer whose name is Raman's account. And during this month, we have sold him total goods worth 11,420 and 4000 is to be recovered from this customer. All right, now we are, we are going to go to the next month. When we go to the next month, what happens is we are going to bring this balance forward. Another convention, another way in which the account is used. So on October 1st, this balance is going to be brought here and we're going to write two balance brought down, brought down from the previous month. That's it. So since this is a debit balance, now we will bring this balance to the debit side at the beginning of the next month to show that this, this much amount of sale is to be recovered from this customer. I'm repeating uh, the balance at the end of the period is brought forward to the balance uh, of the next uh, uh, period. So one period here refers to uh, one month. So the next month when it starts, you are going to bring down the balance from the previous month. So 4000 rupees is shown here at the beginning because this is a debit balance. We are bringing it to the next year because this money has to be received uh, from the customer. Now let us look at transactions in the month of October. In October, you again sell goods to Raman 10,000. Uh, now again, I know whenever I sell goods to my customer, the transaction, the entry happens on the debit side. So I'm going to write to sales account 10,000. And now there is 14,000 to be recovered from uh, Raman. And this happened on October 13. All right, October 20th, you receive from Raman cash 3960 and you allow him a discount of 40. Uh, now, this is slightly uh, uh, tricky, uh, but luckily we have already done this transaction. A similar transaction is going to take place. Uh, so instead of uh, these amounts here, the amounts are going to be different. So you are receiving 3960. So I'm going to write buy cash, first of all, buy cash 39 and 60. And also discount allowed is written here. So buy discount allowed 40 so it seems that the 4000 rupees that were due those have been received and you had to allow a discount so this 4000 has been now written off this has been cancelled this has been set off this has been paid by the customer so there is only 10000 which is due now this transaction was on october 20th Final transaction, you receive cash in full settlement of Raman's account 9800. Now whatever balance is left in Raman's account, whatever you had to receive, you have settled it for 9800. So when you receive, you write buy cash 9800 
and you know 10,000 was due so 200 is the discount so you're going to write buy discount allowed discount allowed account there you go so at the end of uh, October and this transaction is on October 31st on October 31st you have settled the uh, you know account of Raman so you have 14,000 on the debit side and you have 14,000 on the credit side there is no balance left in the account meaning the customer has paid all dues uh, or you have you know allowed him discount so uh, what we learned in this practice uh, uh, problem is uh, number one without writing the journal entry how do you carry uh, the transaction to the ledger right by mental journal entries uh, or you could write small notes uh, if, if you have to and uh, one another new thing that we learned was carrying forward this balance to the next uh, period so you may be required to prepare uh, ledger accounts for every day close at the end of every day you know when typically when a small shopkeeper goes home uh, at the end of the day he likes to do his calculations okay what is my final you know how much did I make so at the end of every day, you may want to do it weekly, monthly, uh, quarterly, or uh, you know annually. So uh, whenever this happens, you have to carry forward the balance to the next period, and uh, this is how it is uh, done. Uh, all right, this is all that I wanted to discuss in this practice problem. I'll see you in the next practice problem.